and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for some Chandra Tribal. We played this at the very beginning of the Corset 2020 standard format, and it was a ton of fun. It was one of my favorite decks, or basically my favorite deck there whenever we first played it. Um, but then didn't play it a ton after that. Played it a couple of times, and it was okay. The the meta game got you know better as as decks got more tuned and everything, and it was it was a little rough. But um, I'm bringing it back. We're gonna try it again. Uh, we went to towards adding blue to the deck before for the negates and everything, but we're we're cutting that. We're going just straight up mono red again, and I think that's that's going to help us out. So here we go. So we're mono red. Uh, we have no more Chambers, Chandra's Ember Kitties in here, un, unfortunately, but decided to take those out um, to get go a little bigger, be able to play more flame sweeps. We got the one flame sweep in the main now to go along with the three in the sideboard. We got an extra. We got an extra novice pyromancer, so uh, you know we're going with our four regulators and playing a whole bunch of Chandras uh, to go along with the regulators. And because I'm taking out the Ember Cats, I'm adding a land. I'm going to 26 lands because we want to hit land drops. And having extra lands, we can discard, especially since they're all mountains now. We can just discard our mountains to the regulators. But having a bunch of basic mountains is really nice because. Um, you know, we never have to worry about our lands coming into play tapped. We don't have to worry about taking damage from shock lands or anything like that. We're just going to be uh, always, like, our land drops are always going to be, they're always not going to deal us damage and come into play untapped. So that's really nice. Um, and then I, I'm replacing the Sarkin with an Ugin uh, because there are more enchantment removal that's running around and everything. So I want the Ugin in there to be able to destroy enchantments. And Ugin just does a lot of good things and with with having this 26 land and if we're trying and we have an extra novice pyromancer that does the minus one to add mana to ramp us you know hopefully we can get to six mana more um uh more often and we get this ugin in here so cyborg with red with cyborgs of course these days with all the scape shift decks running around we got four blood suns i got three spyglass in here uh which spy like spyglass i think is the card that's also allowing me just to go mono red because one card that I was really worried about with Mono Red is, uh, with just with just staying the one color, is what I'm talking about there, is Adanto Vanguard. Adanto Vanguard is a, a card that doesn't really die to these red removal spells, and it's a, it's a real pain. But Spyglass uh, not only does a good job against Adanto Vanguard, but does a really good job against just the Vampire deck as a whole. Um, so yeah, we get to shut down. We can you know, make it so they don't get to pay for life to keep their Adanto Vanguards alive. Or if they don't have Vanguard and they have Soren, shutting down Soren is is a really big deal. With Spyglass can do that, and so and Spyglass can also stop the Knight of the Ebon Legion from growing really really big as well. So I really like so not only is like a Spyglass like pretty good in like the Esper control matchup, but I really like it against um, against vampires. And it's the kind of card that it's not like we only need to Spyglass a Danto Vanguard. So it's like bad playing a lot of Spyglasses in that matchup. There's there's a lot of good Spyglass targets. So it's it's just fine playing a lot of spyglasses, um, and then of course against scape shift we can name little to fairy so they don't get to instant speed their scape shifts so we can flame sweep. Um, but yeah, that's that's our deck here. We got an extra big Chandra against control decks and against like Nexus. We really want the big Chandra to get get them some emblems. Direfully Daredevil is just an awesome awesome card against all of the against any thought erasure deck. So any blue black deck bringing it in there. And an extra Ugin, just in case. So it's Chandra Tribal time. Sorry, Viv, we gotta get some Chandra up in here. I need some kindling. And you look flammable. Here we go. Chandra Flames Fury. Um Top three decks. Um, maybe Scape Shift, Esper, and Vampires, maybe? I have not tried Knife Feather. I have not yet. Ooh. I'll take it. We got these nice card-style Full Art Mountains. 
We got the regulator. No, I'm not I'm not a commander deck kind of person. Yeah, you know, this is what I do each and every day here is play arena and everything, so the commander decks aren't really for me. So I'm not like super excited about them or anything. I don't I don't dislike them or anything. They're just not it's just a product that's not for me. Yeah, a tier three sub is so a tier one sub is five dollars a month. That's the normal sub. Um it's just this, the same as a Twitch Prime sub as well. Uh, tier 2 is $10 a month, and Tier 3 is $25 a month. And with Tier 2, you get a deck tech, if you would like, with your sub, and you get the foil cheers emote. And with the Tier 3, you get a donation deck with your sub as well, and you get the foil hype boats. Yeah, Team of Extinction's a good one. Our opponent must have a really difficult turn here. They're taking their sweet time. Oh, back to us. I'm expecting Growth Spiral this turn. How they shocked in with Breeding Pool. I mean, it could be Negate. But I'm kind of expecting Growth Spiral. Or I guess this could be, I guess this is this could be Simic Flash, too. It is Negate. Uh honestly I don't know RJ rank RJ. Um I haven't I haven't played modern since Sultai. I guess, should I just do this right now? I guess I should just do this right now. I haven't played Modern since before Arclight Phoenix. Rewarded. Yeah, I mean, I haven't I haven't played Legacy since last year, so I don't. I used to play a lot of Modern and Legacy and stuff, but I have transitioned to being just a, a standard, <laughs> a standard only player. Last time I played Legacy was around this time last year, a little bit later, but uh, you know, Blue Black Dash Shadow was was the hot deck. And I really liked Infect. Almost top aided in a legacy tournament around this time last year with Infect. I was like one win away. Yeah, Death Shadow is the thirteen thirteen for one mana. Yep. Both Arena is a better streaming platform, and I've always I've always liked Standard more. I'm 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 definitely a, a person that likes mid range Magic, that kind of like the longer mid range games and stuff. And so I've always liked Standard more than Modern and Legacy. And Arena is a, a better streaming platform. Always have better numbers, like stream uh, viewers and stuff playing Arena. And so I just I just didn't look back. Just sold the Mag Magic Online collection and. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what we'll do with the treasure event. Um I don't know I don't know exactly what's gonna like so yeah, every every upkeep you get a treasure. I would think that it's gonna be kinda like just normal best of one. I don't know if there's anything in particular that gains in value yet like i'm sure there will I'm, I'm sure there's something i just don't know what it is what will like necessarily gain in value from um from that format yeah i guess yeah color splashing that is true
Yeah, I know it's just supposed to be a fun event, but people want me to try to build a really good deck for them. Ever see a volcano erupt in no, 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 no! You're about I didn't mean to do that. Check out these fireworks. I meant to do the minus X and do three to the other thing, but oh well. That still works. It may work better. All right, give get two emblems. Hope it's not too hot for you. But yeah, Chandra is like our best card here in this matchup because it because of the uncounterability. We're really hoping no no wolf. As long as there's no wolf, we're okay. All right, that's not a wolf. That's okay. And I do have the fourth Chandra Awaken Inferno in the sideboard. No, Death Touch does not affect Planeswalkers. But of course, Alexa said that with tongue in cheek there. I'm reaching my boiling point. But if anybody else is wondering. Four emblems is kind of difficult to beat. It's kind of difficult to beat. <laughs> no, you great, Samantha. Yeah, I'm going to play some more Van Vanifar today, I've had, and I... I switched it up some for this time. I think this Bant Vanifar that we're about to play is going to be really sweet. It's, um, you know, like we're playing like the clone effects, right, with Spark Double and um, like your energy. the other clone effect, whatever, whatever that thing's called. But then also, but then also, um, we're going for Risen Reef, for... Night Pack Ambusher and four Biogenic Ooze. And so we're just going to be like either, you know, with one of those cards, we're going to be making a bunch of them. We're either making a bunch of Risen Reefs and drawing tons of cards or a bunch of Night Pack Ambushers, getting a whole lot of wolves and everything, or a whole bunch of Biogenic Oozes and going crazy with Oozes. So our. So it should be pretty sweet. And then, yeah, we, we'll have, like, Neoform and Vanifar to go get more of whichever one of those. All right, extra Chandra over Ugin. I wish I had Bombard for this matchup to be able to kill the Wolves. I guess I, I got Chandra's Triumph, though. I just need a Chandra in play. Flame Sweep does seem kind of nice. But is Flame Sweep better than anything else here? Do I cut like any of these Chandras for Flame Sweep? Do I cut Chain Whirler for Flame Sweep? I'm probably not supposed to cut Chain Whirler. It's hard for them to attack through Chain Whirler, but I guess they got they got removal for Chain Whirler though. Maybe cutting Chain Whirler blanks a lot of removal spells. Let me just do that. Well, whirl one chain. One chain.
I'm in Roanoke, Virginia right now. <laughs> Chandra Tribal. That's that's not Chandra. Yeah, there's Chandra. Did I let the country roads take me home? That is a reference that I do not have any knowledge of, but the answer is absolutely yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely know that sign. Don't you dare spell pierce this. I need my regulator. No, I need my regulator. Whew, good. Thornwood Falls. I don't think I really need to play the Chandra right now. I think I'm just going to pass. And kind of see what they do. So I don't really want them to have the Spectral Sailor either to just draw cards. It could end up regretting that. Certainly. The Acolyte of Flame. Rude. So I can activate this on my opponent's turn. Yep. Yeah, Chandra Tribal Reborn. Skelemental Modern Deck. That is probably great. Elemental. That's a cool word. And that frilled missed a card. Heck of a card. Mm. Basically, worst case scenario with playing, or like, yeah, playing Chandra's Triumph, the worst case scenario is a werewolf. Or a wolf. Just a regular wolf. Thanks, Anamusha. I was going to save the triumph for that. Alright, so good news is no werewolf. Kill these things next turn. 
I would like my opponent to draw some lands and not just sit at four lands. That would be nice. And our our regulator should help us out, help us draw some more gas. No, I have a wolf. Darn it. Four toughness. Yeah, we're still alive. What? Why would it possibly pass the turn there? What is going on? No, I mean, I didn't have like this, the end step stop, but I still had things in my hand that I could play. It doesn't usually just end your turn in that scenario. Oh, well, we were very unlikely to win that still, but Um, Fry doesn't kill the wolf either. Yeah, I shouldn't have needed to stop there. That's unfortunate. All right, got the regulator. All right, I'm I'm looking for six mana Chandra. I want to just hit land drops, and find six mana Chandra. It's uncounterable. Four mana four mana Chandra is just absolutely getting countered. Um, yeah, you need to replace Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. Um, a good replacement for that could be uh, Rekindling Phoenix. I know that's, that's another card that's rotating out, though. Um, hostage... Taker is also rotating out. Uh, Karn. Like the old Karn, the, the rotating Karn. Is another option. <laughs> um, as far as cards that aren't rotating out. <laughs> Could just play more like Narsets and Sean and little Chandra's and go more control. Could play the four mana Chandra, I suppose. 
Um, Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, Enter the God Eternals is probably a pretty good option there. Yeah, Kefnet, I'm kind of assuming Kefnet's already in the deck, but Kefnet, absolutely. Blue Cavalier is a good one. It's, it's tough to play Blue Ca Cavalier and big nickel, and nickel Bolas and five mana Nickel Bolas, though. You kind of have to watch out for that. It's triple Anyone Black, Triple Blue. That's pretty rough. Sizzled. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. So if you're if you're already playing Kefnet and you just yeah you don't have Ravager I'd probably move towards like Enter the God Eternals probably. No, Teferi Time Twist is not viable. No, that's not a card I'd want. Yeah, of course, Jason. Yeah, you can always link decks that you're talking about. Like that's. Never mind that. You're playing with fire here. And those are not wolf elementals. Do they have a tail's end here to counter a triggered ability or an activated ability? Yeah, well, we played Induced Amnesia not that long ago. Probably less than two weeks, I would say. There's like a four color amnesia deck. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. Well they would they would counter the, the Chandra ability, not the regulator it. ability. But there's a tail's end. They still got six cards over there though. Because our opponent has just always had two for one ourselves again. At least we got rid of three ambushers. They can't have a fourth one, right? But it always just has exactly four lands. Can't you just get like some more lands over there? Why is it always exactly four mana, which is which is how much you want with the flash deck? There you go. Yeah, draw some lands. Cause I have nothing over here, so you're gonna need to draw some bricks over there. We do have we do have three emblems Let's though. Toasty. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm? We're gonna keep here? this mountain in hand to discard to the regulator next turn. We have three mana to activate Mobilized District, which is how much it costs because of the Awakened Inferno. I think we should be able to finish this one off, though. Getting rid of three ambushers, that was huge for us. 
It'll be tough for them to kill us in four turns, honestly. With the little creatures they got. No, you can't double activate regulator. You can only you can pay one to activate another Chandra Planeswalker, but not regulator. Okay, this is not This is not great now. Now they have a clock that can that can definitely beat us. I don't even know if this is worth it. I can five. Yeah, this is worth it. If you want to fight, you got it. Hope it's not too. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. So if they attack us and deal 10 to us, or, you know, deal 9 to us with the Vitsu Ghazi, then the Chandra gives them two more emblems, and they die. If they attack Chandra, then they take 5, and then they don't have lethal on us, and then they take 5 again, and they die. So, like, right now, it's looking really good for us. We'll see if they if they get rid of our Chandra and get to attack us, kind of thing. They have you know Planeswalker removal, then that's different. Same thing if they get rid of like the Regulator, then I don't get to do two emblems. Then it's different also there. So we'll you know we'll kind of see what they got, but yeah, looks looks very good for us. Yep, that should do it now. Well, yeah, yeah, that should do it. Can always do better next time. Unless they can suddenly do 18 to me next this next turn. Oh, they could have another Vitugazi. Well that'll also work. Tails end? <laughs> All right, Chandra Tribal. The Uncounterable Awakened Inferno. I liked my plan there with the regulator of just ditching the four mana Chandra, unlike I did the, not like I did the second game, and just digging hard to one of our four Awakened Infernos. Vitugazi is legendary. That's a good point. Then you can't really have another one. All right, we got a pack, and we got a Bloodthirsty Aerialist cosmetic. That's a good cosmetic to have. Let's crack this pack. Open up a mythic. Even a typhoon Yay, a mythic. A and a planeswalker, Moo Yanling. Awesome. Awesome pack. Alright, Chandra Tribal. Want to know? Good win there over the... The... Sultai flash deck. Good win there. We get to go first. This is kind of what our deck's all about. Let me send a message real quick. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are big. I 
I don't like big creatures with this deck. We want small creatures. Small creatures are cool. Pyromancy puts a little sizzle in my step. They would have had the five, like a five power creature. I would have been able to play the the novice pyromancer minus one and then triumph to do five last turn okay so uh, options 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 all right figured it out so we're gonna minus one and double that so we got four so, mana. Okay, so reach into that ley line thing. And play this thing. We're gonna kill this and thing. You make it to the inferno. I guess I can wait. We're gonna emblem. But we are not going to pay one. So I can triumph that thing. <laughs> no pressure. That's not good to wait. <laughs> they could have Colossus. Give it plus four, plus two. Sit back and watch it burn. Man, regulator is sweet. So yeah, that's why I was worried about that. I was worried about the three damage, three hasty damage there. But I'm reaching Ooh. my boiling point. Okay, okay. Hmm. Minus three Chandra, kill both of those. And then Chandra's at two loyalty. All right, so minus one, add some mana. Copy it. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay, so reach into that ley line thing. When you understand reality, you understand. Yourself. Well, that's different. Oh! Lies beyond I meant I need to do the Chandra first. Darn it. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, I messed this up. Ugh, now if they have another Regi Al Regisaur Alpha, then my Chandra dies. Darn it. <laughs> oh, I'm silly. I need to do way. that first. Poor, you know. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. Now if they have another red star alpha, they get to kill the awakened inferno, which I did not want to happen. Uh Of course they do. Get punished immediately. I deserve that. I suppose. I know next for me. to fly okay so reach into that ley line thing let's do this yeah I would have been able to chump block with the two two to keep no problem fire can't solve keep Chandra alive hmm Two cards just don't really do anything. Let's light it up. I want to keep Ugin's minus ability available for a bigger. Dinosaur than just Regisaur Alpha. I'm just taking up the again still. 
Yeah, like that. I can Ugin minus and kill that thing. Where the Chandra's Triumph wouldn't have killed that Itali. Back and watch it burn. Another. My plans do not include you. Hmm. Man. Chandra Tribal, pretty sweet. Gotta love this regulator. With adding all that mana with like the regulator and the novice pyromancer, that was really cool. Alright, not not in love with a bunch of big creatures. Not in love with this at all. So we need this other Ugin. Yeah, big creature dot deck is something that I have a little bit of a hole here. Um, definitely keeping all the chain whirlers because the first strike first strike blockers are good. Try to set up the wall of first strikes. Flame sweep. That can go. We still have shock for like little things and stuff. There we go. We'll just bring in Ugin, take out Flame Sweep. I don't know if I need another Chandra Six. I think I'll just keep it like this. They probably have like the mana creatures that we want to kill with those little things. Yeah, I ended up cutting lava coils here for all these other sideboard cards. Um So yeah, life can be a little tough. And then, yeah, no Star of Extinction. That'd be a pretty nice one to have, too. What, you got an M20 bundle with an alternate version of Chandra's Regulator? That's nice. I, I haven't seen that. I didn't know there was an alternate version of Chandra's Regulator. Basically, I think, I think Ugin... I, want, I'm, I wanted Ugin more than Sarkin. I think there was room for one of those... He used to play Sarkin in the deck. Um, but I wanted Ugin instead because of staying with Mono Red. I want to be able to destroy enchantments. Bleh. Marauding Raptor. That's the worst mana creature. Play the play the one two that gives stuff haste. Play that card. I don't want to use the triumph on the Marauding Raptor. Darn. Can I get my can I get my Chandra's regulator? I want my regulator. Alright, well, this is not ideal. Three draws, three lands. Ooh, opponent not having a rip draw though certainly helps. I had to say something. Come on, deck. What is this? Where are my regulators at? Yeah, play that card. I like that card. Yeah, Huntmaster's my favorite card in their deck. Hey, there's the regulator. We'll use you in a little bit. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of design. Be gone. Gosh, they play a Galta, I'm so dead.
Yeah, they, they did not draw very well, it looks like. Splash. And good job, Ugin. Ugin took took over. Which moves us to two again and oh. <laughs> the cavalcade deck, you go five games in a row without seeing one cavalcade of calamity and the deck just falls apart. Yeah, it can happen. We did one thing the first six turns. We we killed their one of their creatures. And then yeah, we play a Nugan and Nugan wins. Yay, Planeswalkers. Yeah, Orzhov Vamps is a really strong deck right now. Hmm. Thank you, later. Alright, Rakdos Aggro. I like it. Wizard. All right, so this is a risky move. If I'm using any burn, they could kill the Sean, the novice pyromancer here. I'm hoping they don't. My plan here, I'm gonna keep the keep the triumph. I know I could have just minus one and cast triumph, but no. Uh, well, that's like the worst case scenario. They didn't even use a spell. My plan here, like my plan next turn was to go like acolyte, double add counters, and then this add mana. Uh, that was that was not ideal. Uh, chain whirler, that was the worst. <laughs> Thanks, Rice Prophet. Yeah, Hydro deck wasn't so bad. We we just had a tough scape shift matchup. Oh gosh. That we talked about afterwards. Um, gosh, that thing's way too big. A seven six. I don't have an, enough mana. Wait. No, that doesn't. I'm 
my fist. Pyromast. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something new. I don't really envision myself winning this game. Kill that 7 6. The, could have tried to block with the mobilized district, but as we saw, they had burn spells. Alright, let's get all these flame sweeps in here. What, I, what else did I just put in? Oh, I just put in the other one of these. 7 6s are tough. Why do I have to have such big creatures? So I'm thinking, definitely won't keep the Chain Whirlers in here. I'm thinking cutting two Acolyte of Flame, cutting one Artisan to get the other Flame Sweeps, and I kind of think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Sweet Baby Ray's now makes honey mustard. There you go. All right, Caesar. Have a good dinner. Yeah, Field of the Dead. Yep, Blood Suns for the Field of the Dead decks. Field of the Dead. Uh, blast zone. It's also good against Nexus. Is a blast zone and as Kanta and Memorial. No, I didn't. I wasn't into wrestling. Living in a monastery full of firebrands. <laughs> Fire spreads fast with help. All right, the Acolyte of Flame. I'm telling Mother Ludi on you. Well, that's rude. What's that thing? A three three. Constraining. Whoosh! Up in flames! Fire spreads fast with help. <laughs> oh, that didn't kill one of my planeswalkers. Hey, yeah, that hurt! And one killed the correct I'll one. Come back even stronger. Focus? I just want to burn stuff already. I don't have the ability to cast flame sweep and recast flame sweep. One mana short there. Hey, go easy. I'm training here. Consider this bridge burned. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Okay. Starting to stabilize. Curiosity and wonder twists it. I can create. I am not very confident we're gonna be winning this on the draw. Let's get toasty. I know. 
Three three shouldn't be legal. Neither should seven sixes. Three threes and seven sixes. Not a fan of either. Regulator. Is it just me? Hope it's not too hot for you. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Triple emblem. There we go. All right. So three mana Chandra wasn't so good. Did buy us some time. But didn't look so good there. I could cut three mana Chandra for another six mana. Or another Ugin. Maybe I need maybe I just need another Ugin. Kill seven sixes. Did buy us some time though. Did eat up a lot of damage. All right, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut a four mana Chandra for another Ugin. Yeah, we're we're mono red control basically. Yep, Chandra Tribal. Mono red control. Regulator's an artifact. Ooh, so I could have Regulator in the sideboard and play four mana Karn and go grab a Regulator. From the side, Brad. Jeez. What the heck is that? How is that even beatable? That is cheating. Completely cheating. I don't know what their hand looks like that they discarded Wizard's Lightning. <laughs> that just kills me. See if they take the right one. Rakown, what's up? Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. Darn it, they took the right one. I was definitely relying on that card. Yep, I needed that to pair with Lightning Strike. Uh Now we're going to take another hit for 7. Yeah, the downside to playing Evolving Wilds is that it comes in your lands coming in to play tapped. Is one downside. Another downside is that you only want to be playing so many basics, and so if if you draw like your basics, then your evolving wilds may not be able to go get a land. If they would have just kept their burn spells, I'd be dead.
Three damage burn spell. Darn it. Ugh. All right, we'll turn three, seven, six on the play. Too good. Well, that paired with duress, that is. Darn. It's going pretty good, Zerf. We're playing some fun decks here today. We got some Chandra Tribal. Which, admit, admittedly, I'm not very good against three mana seven sixes. That's just too big. Too much toughness. Six toughness in general. It's tough for me. All right, hoping we're playing against control. This is a good hand against control, not a good hand against aggro. Hoping we got a, a control opponent here. Ooh, that's a nice one. And I like seeing Hollow Fountain. This is working out. Yeah, splashing black would give us removal for rotting Registrar for sure. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Say hi to my fiery friends. But oh well. I don't. I think. I think that. No, so basically, yeah, we could have we could play two colors to be able to deal with like a really big creature like that. But I think that, I think that that makes the deck weaker overall. I think that having having all these basic mountains is honestly a, a pretty nice. It's a really nice uh, part of the deck, especially with playing regulators. I'm Chandra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, they're so cute. It's elemental, dear. What's your name? Yeah, that's a, that's an option for Mana Karn to grab Regulator from the sideboard, but I don't think it's necessary. Did my opponent just leave themselves dead on board? Unless they have, like, a shock? A shock doesn't save him. That's a bunch of five ones. Wait, they can't even have a shock anyway. They can only spend blue mana. I don't think star extinction is really worth it. We saw it there, like we we died whenever we only had five mana. I I think our deck's fine. I think that's just. It was just an unfortunate turn of events there with the turn three, seven, six, and me not having. I think, you know, like we just need like two burn spells to kill it, or a chain whirler plus a burn spell, or two chain whirlers. Um, you know, we just need like a combination of like two of these things. Um, or we need to just be able to, you know, have turn six, we have these things that kill a seven, six. And, you know, just didn't, didn't have those. Like the duress, like if it wasn't for the duress, we would have been fine that game. Like that, that previous game. The dress hitting the Chandra's Triumph really hurt. Could also just, you know, we can't play um, 
lava coils and stuff too. All right, anyway, let's see. We got Jeskai. Flame Sweep's honestly not that bad against Jeskai. They, they can make some tokens here. Do I even want Daredevil? Like, Daredevil is just hitting, like, burn spells from them. Maybe I don't actually want Daredevil. Let me just play this. Let's give this a try. We'll see if we need to adapt and change anything. Yeah, I think so. I think this is a, a viable deck, Storm. Yeah, this is a it's a pretty solid deck. It's very very consistent. I I am the most scared of big creatures. That's that's the thing I'm the most scared of, just in the format. Hey, what's up, boots? I don't know. We beat a Dino deck. And I, th I think we would have won that game three. I honestly think we could have won that game three if it wasn't for the duress taking my Chandra's Triumph. Dude, regulators are awesome. Yeah, like, they're only for this deck, but... But, yeah, I would... I like recommending them, because, like... Yeah, the regulators are awesome. Aw, oh, thanks, Boots. They're fun to play. Hmm. You got a bounce chain whirler. For my excellent time. There goes nothing. It's not like the best thing to be bouncing. All right, so I know Acolyte of Flame can resolve here. So would I rather just resolve Acolyte of Flame while it can? I think so. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> oh, they're so cute! <clears throat> now what? This isn't a fight you can win. Is he going to add mana with Mox Amber? Bounce the Mox Amber? Add more mana? Here we go. Hmm. All right, let's regulate. I guess I'm not killing Teferi with regulator. That's fine. They can have a Teferi at one. Doesn't seem that big a deal. I mean, I could, so I could... Yeah. Yeah, because I want to get the Spyglass in play. Let's see what they got. All right. Double Deafening Clarion, Dovin's Veto, and Kasmina. Is it worth it on Kasmina? I don't think so. All right. So where... So we need the other Teferi. The Hero of Dominaria. friends I won't let you win well you're not doing a very good job of stopping me
Let's try this. Yeah. Shaper, I think you can play Spawn of Mayhem instead of Thief of Sanity in the Grixis midrange deck. Absolutely. I'm late to meditation anyway. Um. So yeah, I could go with another Chandra here. But let's... Let's play this Chandra and start getting some cards. Alright, they have... They have Dovin's Veto available. Forgot about Dovin's Veto. Right. The Mox Amber over there. The Mox Amber was hidden. Alright, you got me. Yeah, kitty. That wasn't great. No sword can pierce my scales. Don't worry. I got this. Alright, draw land. End has arrived. Uh, maybe sh I probably should have regulated away the, the chain whirler there looking for land, honestly. Yeah, I probably should have done that. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. I mean, a, a land isn't really like that great here. I mean, it oh, it would let me do two damage to the raveler, the time raveler. Listen, time will no. Which is nice, but not like necessary. But the Chain Whirler, I mean, they have double Clary on the Chain Whirler. It's not doing anything. So, yeah, I should just discard the Chain Whirler. I've got time. So that actually worked out for us. Keeping that Chandra's Triumph around. We got to kill the 4-4. Four four. So it costs 4 mana to target this thing. Want me to phase you out of time? Bench. Hmm. Um I'm just gonna play this. No more game. That blocks for my Acolyte of Flame. And I can I can kind of use like this Lightning Strike here because I, I still have, like the Acolyte of Flame can minus and re-grab burn spells if I want. And so now I don't have to, I don't have to worry about like the 2-2 because two -two I have the 3-3 three -three to block it. If they, you know, they can clarry on, but then there goes the 2-2. Two -two. Thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. 
I have not played Cavalier of Night and Mirror Image together. That does sound like a pretty cool combination, but I have not played those two together. See, I'm expecting deafening, like instant speed deafening Clarion here. This is why I'm not making more like elemental tokens. Or at activating that mobilized district to attack with that. Darn it. Remember this one? Ugh. How many times do I have to do that with a little Teferi out? I don't actually get to Chandra Minus. <laughs> I do that so often. So often. Well, that's really unfortunate for us. That prison realm there. I was gonna be able to I was gonna be able to ultimate that Chandra next turn by doing the other Chandra tick up. Could have added two loyalty counters and ultimated it. Yeah, good play, good play. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Good play. That's what I was scared of with that Teferi. Yep. But I couldn't go all in on attacking because of that instant speed clarion. And so I was gonna do the minus to kill it, but the minus did not kill it. Only time will tell. All right, so we still got the regulator, but they of course have Ascanta. No, my opponent just played Teferi that turn. I didn't have any chances. That was, that was like their third Teferi. They just played it that turn. I didn't have any other chances to kill it. Add this battle to your record of battles. Like they just played it and ticked up on it. Curious. Your defects don't seem to bother you. My presence alone will guide you. All right, which one of these do I want back? I guess my Ugin's gonna die. Oh well. Say hi to my don't worry. 
I brought company. These results are an anomaly not to be repeated. My least favorite deck to play against. This is not my first ending. I don't really like playing against Feather. Um, Scape Shift's pretty lame, too. But, like, Scape Shift and Nexus are basically the exact same thing. I'm Chandra, the Immolation Sensation. All right, we'll see if they can beat two emblems. Or is it getting a little warm in here? Say hi to my fiery friends. Yeah, Feather is definitely beatable. I mean, all all the decks are beatable. I'm not, you know, like that wasn't the question, but I don't really mind Esper Mono Red blue green nexus or sorry blue green flash blue green flash i don't really mind those decks nearly as much as other people do throw another punch and you're gonna get burned All right, let's get our Chandra combo again here. So we get to make two one one. We'll make four one ones, then make them five ones. So make four five one hastes. They're not dealing with that, and we get two two more emblems. Chandra Tribal, kicking butt, grinding down the Jeskai control deck. GGS. Ugh, Shadow Travel is pretty, pretty sweet. <laughs> the Hellraiser Immolation Sensation. Alright, three and one. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put a star next to the deck to help out, help people tell what deck we are currently playing. Forgot about that. There we go. Star. Chandra Tribal. Debo. We got the sub battle stream. Oh, is Debo play is this mirror match? Is Debo just playing the Chandra Tribal too? Uh with the same sleeves and avatar? Oh no. Top ten anime betrayals. No. Uh oh. That thing's kind of big. Please, no jade light. Hooray! No jade light. Uh oh. That doesn't make me feel better. Y'all are cheering for team chat. <laughs> it's, yeah, Grid, uh, you need to make sure you have all play modes available on your, on your main, uh, on like the homepage. Go, 
like there's a, a button up and like around this area of the screen that says either arena play modes or all play modes. You need to make, you need to make sure it shows all play modes to be able to get to the tr the traditional constructed queue where I'm at here. Yeah, I got yeah unhinged. Yeah, it's the unhinged land from the guild event. I got that. Uh, there's only a there's only the forest right now. Mother Ludi gave us homework. Where's my good game? There we go. Six mana Chandra, while we would be able to do a double three damage spell, like, you know, we could double up the three damage thing with six mana Chandra. It doesn't do damage to elementals, and wild growth walkers are elementals. So yeah, I'll admit I did not come prepared for this kind of matchup right now. You know, I don't have lava coils. This this matchup you need lava coils. And I took out lava coils. So we're gonna be very far behind here. Yeah, I think team chat's gonna win this one. No, the the forest was unhinged. That was that was the unhinged force that was the prize for the last one. Then this this upcoming weekend is gonna be the mountain starting on Sunday, the unhinged mountain. I'm not gonna get rid of the hand with the regulator. I'm bringing in daredevils here because Maybe they have like, you know, like black removal spells that I can get with Daredevil to be able to kill like Wild Growth Walkers. This is tough. Maybe, maybe in the sideboard, maybe I just don't need Daredevils. Maybe we're like already good enough against control and we can just have lava coils instead. Come on, really? Jeez. Yeah, I can't kill that thing. All right, so the weakness of my deck is very large creatures. No, Grid, this this traditional constructed event that I'm playing is always available. It's available 100% of the time for ever since Arena's been out. It's, it's never not available.
Yeah, you have to have the all modes turned on on the main screen. And then it'll say traditional constructed event. My plan right now is to play a Chandra into minus six to exile the Cavalier of Thorns. And then the next turn, play the other Chandra in minus three twice with the Regulator to kill everything else, but that's too much power now. All right, well, I had... I had a lot of the, the top tier decks in mind whenever I was putting this together, but large creature deck wasn't really in mind. So there's different things they could do against larger creatures. Those ones, though, are just so, so big. I mean, I got just everything. Everything that could go wrong, of course, did go wrong. So obviously, I take out I take out shocks um, to have bigger stuff, and then my opponent has the double land war elf that just um, destroyed us and everything like that. So I think I think moving forward, what I would do first thing I would do is I would get rid of the daredevils. I think we're probably going to be okay against control without daredevils. I don't think we need them. And I want um, some lava coils and do we want like one star of extinction? The thing is, is like, so these, these games we've been losing, we're not actually getting to seven mana. To be able to help there with like the the star of extinction. Oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with the three two. Yeah, fire with fire is an option. I think we do need to exile stuff. I think the the main deck flame sweep I didn't really like that much. So I I actually just I I want to take out that main deck flame sweep and get a Chandra's Triumph. I mean, the main deck flame sweep is is definitely good against against scape shift. We still have this Chandra that can minus 3 and stuff. I think that we could use another Triumph. You know, Triumph gets to do 5 damage whenever we have our Chandras in play. This is a, a good spell to kill big things. So I think I think that's what I want to do. Is I want to just replace the Daredevils with Lava Coils. To have extra two mana removal against uh, big things, I I could see if you want one fight with fire, two coil. No, I think I just want coils. I want to be able to exile things. I knew that like rekindling phoenix was going to be a problem without playing the lava coils and stuff, but there's not that many rekindling phoenixes. But if we're adding in extra removal spells, I think you might as well play the things that deal with like arc light phoenix and rekindling phoenix and stuff like that. Um, no, I don't think Fry is necessary in this deck. I think that Chandra's Triumph makes Fry unnecessary, basically. And yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't want to play Fry over anything else. But so, so those are the two little things I'm going to do. I think keep flames, three Flame Sweep. I think that's good enough. Have those in the sideboard. Um, and then replace Daredevil with Lava Coil. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, no, took out took out Sarkin for Ugin, and Ugin was awesome. I think Ugin's better than Sarkin. Yes, I think Chand four mana Chandra is worth it. Four mana Chandra gets a good card advantage. Um. So yeah, there we go. I think that's that's like a little up, update I would do to help out against creatures. Also, kind of makes the deck a little 
a little easier with more four, 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 and stuff. I know some some of y'all uh, with rotation happening here have have asked about like Goblin Chain Whirler, and plus that's actually probably good. I'm sure people like taking out not have not wanting to craft direfully Daredevil, and instead having Lava Coil. I'm sure people will enjoy that. But um, if so, this is what I'm gonna play. If you don't have have Chain Whirler and don't want to craft Chain Whirler, my recommendation would be um, like three Flame Sweep in the main instead of the Chain Whirlers, and then a probably a Lava Coil, probably like one Lava Coil, three Flame Sweep for the main, uh, or one Fight with Fire, either one, and then sideboard. Uh, you could have, uh, ba definitely have like the fourth flame sweep in the sideboard and uh, make sure there's like enough, like four lava coils, four flame sweeps kind of thing. Um, and then you could have, if you have Daredevil, you can have Daredevil in the sideboard, or if not, um, you could have just basically other red removal. Um, but as far as other like Planeswalkers, Sarkin, Karn are options also. Uh, the old school Karn, not new school Karn. You don't you don't really want to play Chandra. It's not ideal to play Chandra immediately on turn four when you've already hit your land drop. You kind of want to play at turn five, like when you have your land drop, like you you. Pay your four mana, play Chandra, tick up, hit, you know, see if you hit your land uh, from the tick up and play that land kind of thing. That is definitely an option, though. It's definitely an option to, if you if you cut Fire Artisan, it's something I'll be thinking about. That's definitely an option to cut Fire Artisan for the new Karn. And then just go with, like, the artifact sideboard that, you know, that we have, you know, with Meteor Golems and, and all that kind of stuff, Helm of the Host. Uh, all that kind of stuff, and then you can you can have one of the the four regulators in the sideboard where the new Karn can grab regulator kind of thing. So you know, kind of looking like the mono black control, but turning into you know like mono red control like that. And that that is an option, like the the mono red or the mono black control that we played two days ago. But there we go. That's Chandra Tribal. Pretty sweet deck here. Pretty fun to play all these Chandra Planeswalkers. And the Regulator is the best part of the deck. It's really cool. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope, you, that, hope all that stuff gives you some good ideas and everything over there. And if so, don't forget to uh, hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. I'd appreciate both of those. But thanks so much for watching Chandra Tribal, and I'll see you for the next video.